Hey, this is the Daily Overpass. My name is Eric and I make apps. Now today, let's talk about demographics and target users. Okay, so I am back from my holiday in Germany. I spent a week in Nuremberg, which is a beautiful city, and I got back late last night, and today was my first full work day back in the office, and it has been manic, because I have like all these emails and meetings and everything, and so many people say, wanna catch up on this and everything, and it's like 10 o'clock at night, and I'm still in the office, but it was worth it. I feel relaxed and refreshed, which might be psychosomatic, but dude, I'll take it. You know, if, I don't, if it's all in my mind, so be it. So anyway, so for those of you guys who have been watching, who watch every day, you may notice that I only did three videos from Nuremberg. So I was there for seven days and I only did three videos. Luckily, I was a little bit ahead on the publishing schedule. I'm not anymore, but so I was able to, so we didn't have to miss any days. But while I was in Germany, I kept thinking about what kind of videos I could do while I was there. So, you know, doing some sightseeing and I thought, you know, I could do like a little tour guide type of thing where I could set up in front of a cathedral and say, this cathedral was built in such and such or whatever. And, and, um, and then I thought, nah, right? I know the demographics of the channel and I know my target viewer of the channel and neither of those would be interested in that. So in the end, I thought, I'll just give it a miss and we'll, we'll talk about apps and everything else when we come back. So I hope you guys don't mind. So. It got me thinking a lot about the difference between demographics and target users. So on the YouTube channel, I know who the demographics are. I check that, those kind of stats. On the applications, on my apps, I definitely check that. So through uh, Firebase Console, I check the demographics. And sometimes they, they're a bit surprising. Like I'll think it'd be one group of people and it'd be somebody else, right? So it's, it's interesting, right? But usually when I create an application or when I create a video, I make it for, for my target user, right? So if my target user is different than my demographic, I have to go for the target user because the demographic is sort of after the fact. Your target user is who you make things for. Demographic is the people who actually consume it. Now you could change it. So you could say like, I made this application for this group of people over here, but this group of people seem to be interested in it. I'll change it to them. And that makes sense in terms of like, language like translating into other languages because it's a different location that's perfectly fine but for me i always think it's better to stick with your core user so with ear agent my my core user my my target user was me because i was the person who thought this would be really cool i used to love spy films and everything and i thought this would be really cool for a james bond gadget and that's the way i went with it i was it wasn't thinking like what would people like about this or this group of people you know, it's, it's popular with, you know, men between 18 and 25 or between yeah, 18 and 25. What would they be interested in? I, I can't get into that mindset. So I, I make a big distinction between my target user and my demographics. And sometimes you might want to change your target user based on the demographics, but you can't get them confused. Um, I think it's, it's worthwhile. If you don't know who the demographics of your app are, it's always good to have a look at it. If you're not tracking that kind of stuff in uh, Firebase console, uh, you don't really get that in, in the Google Play console, like who's actually using it, but you get it in, in the Firebase, right? And you get it in the YouTube channels and whatever types of, of things you're using. So it's always good to see, but you can't abandon your target user. Now, I think, I think a lot about, about artists or singers. Like, I always think, James Taylor, I'm a James Taylor fan, although I used to be more in the past. You know, I know, I'm really cool. You think rock and roll Ozzy Osbourne, but no, yeah, James Taylor. So I was a big James Taylor fan, and I know he definitely has a demographic, but he also has a target listener. So he, I, I always think he's making music for his target, and the demographic follows on. ABBA is a good example. ABBA was surprised that their demographic was they were really big in the gay community, but that wasn't who they're making music for, because if they did, it would become inauthentic and, and crowd-pleasing, but they would just make the music that they, they thought was good, and they had a demographic there. And a lot, I think it's the same with applications, right? So the reason I didn't do a lot of videos from, from Germany was because I couldn't think of anything worthwhile to talk about, 
and I didn't want to cheapen the channel by just trying to to broaden the demographic or to uh, to go outside it. So we're back in the office now. We're going to talk about apps. We're going to talk about business. We're going to talk about all the things that we talk about every day. And I hope you guys don't mind it. And tonight we got the live stream, so I'm back in town for the live stream. So I'm really excited about that. And uh, and I do think it's important to 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 know that. So my question for you today is. Is your demographic different than your target user? And if so, how so? And did you were you surprised by it? Or do you not even get enough traffic to know who your demographic is yet? So anyway, that is it for today. I'll talk to you guys again tomorrow.